millions of dollars to her customers that she's accused of misleading. In 2021, Dana Chanel, whose real name is Casey Oliveira, was sued by the Pennsylvania Attorney General for allegedly taking money from customers without delivering services. She operated a... Let's be honest. Listen, Dana Chanel, we knew from time ago she was a moving madman. I reported on this about a year or so ago. If you go onto my YouTube, you'll see the videos of her. I did several videos about her and her husband. Both of them scam artists, bro. Um, and honestly, they were doing the most. Um, taking people's money, not providing services. So ungodlike, but then using God-like to be able to get people to, to to come and buy. And so Christians were being scammed. You know what I mean? Like it was, I think it was at the same time, around about the same time, um, also Heather Lindsay was doing madness as well. So it just seemed to be a whole snowball effect in the Christian community of people just doing crazy stuff um, to try and get a buck and then using God as the kind of centerfold to draw those people in. They knew they had a market. They knew they had people that were going to be gullible. They knew that people that were going to trust them because as Christians, we try to trust people who are also meant to be quote unquote Christians too. And so it's, it's, it's despicable to, to use God and to use it as a scam. Um, I reported upon it last year. So, I mean, almost a year, two ago, two years ago, almost. Um, so make sure you guys go watch, watch those videos. I won't repeat what I said in those videos. It's long, uh, because she had other videos that she put up and I was like, this is just nuts. She tried to defend herself with, you know, false fallacies. And, you know, if I really was scamming people, don't you think I would, uh, like when people start making those comments, you already know, they ain't being real. You already know they're moving mad. Um, let's read a little bit of the. Uh, the I'll read a little bit of the uh, thing that was said here. It says here, um, Dana Chanel, whose real name is Casey Oliveira, was sued by Pennsylvania uh, courts. Because I remember they were doing a court act. I remember they were doing a. Um, they, they were doing a. Uh, what was it? Something legal action. You know where a bunch of people get um, together and they and they and they file a, a suit. That's what they did. I remember at the time, it's just taking a little bit of a while. So in 2021, Dana Chanel, whose real name is Casey Oliveira, was sued by Pennsylvania Attorney General for allegedly taking money from customers without delivering services. According to the lawsuit, the influencer, influencer promoted credit repair services uh, offered by Credit Exterminators, Inc., later rebranded as Earn Company, LLC, and Mobile App Development Services through Alakazam Apps, LLC. Okay. In one example, the suit... Uh, 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 the suit says a consumer who runs a non-profit organization learned about Alakazam apps through Chanel's Instagram page. She paid the company 2000 believing she would work directly with developers to create her custom app. The suit says she never received an app from Alakazam. Uh, Olivera now has paid up to uh, pay more than 87000 does to dozens of clients the restitution of payments are pay part of a settlement agreement with the ag's office i remember the time when they consulted the pennsylvania um uh, uh office as well to launch their their bid at the time i wasn't sure how successful it was going to be but the fact that they managed to do a class action suit beautiful grab her take her get the money back um and she got the money so she can pay it back let's hope she doesn't default and try to do some nonsense and stupidity to drag it out um and hopefully that she knows she will honor what she's meant to pay back since she is talking about the lord and how good god is let's hope that she'll you know uh, honor that and be respectful to those who she obviously scammed and took their money in reality hmm, i don't know how enforceable this is going to be in the end if she decides to pull a fast one but we'll see you know uh but I, it's, it's it's shocking to see that someone who's within the christian faith and the christian circles would use god like this to be able to scam people and um, pastors do it uh prophets do it um i should say so-called pastors so-called prophets so-called apostles do it um why not her so it's not a it's not a point in case that it's just someone like dana chanel there is all types of wolves in sheep's clothing within the kingdom um and so unfortunately we have a situation where dana chanel has been caught but fortunately they will be getting their money back and i appreciate that so i'm gonna leave it there guys like share subscribe click on the bell button for notifications of uploads